occupation shortage. Stores closed, shelves empty, no gas even the western city of Lviv, the furthest from the hot conflict points of the Russian-occupied Ukraine, began to feel the cold face of the war. Sandbags and barricades were erected in the historical squares of Lviv. In Lviv, where the curfew was declared between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., market shelves began to empty. Market officials say that their biggest concern is the decrease in basic food materials if the occupation days are prolonged. Last food remaining is sent to the front. Alcohol is not sold in Ukraine due to the war. At the humanitarian aid points created at the train station and bus stations in Lviv, the last food and other humanitarian aid materials are sent to the inner regions of the country in mobilization. Lviv Mayor Andriy Sadavi also called on the people to collect, transport and deliver humanitarian aid materials to certain points in Lviv. Gasoline is difficult to find at stations, also, driving in the city is now excruciating. Because many gas stations in Lviv are out of fuel, and some gas stations provide 5 liters of gasoline per car. Gasoline prices can fluctuate during the day, apart from the price hikes for Brent oil. Citizens who can fill the tanks of their cars consider themselves lucky. Many stores are closed in shopping centers. Brands do not open their stores, mostly foreign ones, in the shopping centers that people in the city visit constantly. Not only in clothing, but also in sectors such as accessories, food and beverage, world-famous brands do not open their stores due to the war. There are barricades at various points when entering and after entering the city. If the road does not lengthen after passing from Poland to Ukraine, Lviv takes an average of 75 to 80 kilometers. There are one or two police and military checkpoints at each neighborhood entrance on this 80-kilometer road. Lviv's historical fountains and monuments are surrounded by sandbags and barricades.